Okay, and the hurricane is way out to sea, and luckily for us in Tampa, that means we are not getting any rain or anything. So, this morning, I am at a flea market called Webster Flea Market. How famous is it? Very famous. Apparently, it's very famous. So, we're going to look for stuff. I'm going to be looking for tea stuff and, like, elephant stuff. I just got pixie-fied. Pixie-dusted. <laughs> All right, I'm about to try one of these Dragon Balls. Oh, oh look at this. She is yeah. good. good so those two bamboo chairs I actually bought I got the girl down to $30 for two I just went on Etsy and found the same exact chairs they are made in the 60s they're called vintage bamboo chairs and on Etsy six chairs are going for $500 and I just got two chairs for $30 so I think I pretty much hit the jackpot today and I'm very excited sticks just found some missile sticks an entire box full of things and I have two bags in my hand so I will actually show you everything I bought when I get home because I bought way more but I only spent so far uh, $40 so I've done pretty well. This is an interesting find. Apparently it's from the late 50s and it's got like flowers and fake turf in the middle and it's like a I want to bring it to work and just like you couldn't. It's <laughs> a fabulous find. This hotel does not exist anymore. It is from the late 50s. It was one of the only Polynesian hotels and I was able to pick this up for only $15. It's for a specimen that my friend actually ended up buying <laughs> just because it's interesting and kind of ugly. Kind of? And she's going to put it in her office and it's just very <laughs> Okay, I am back home and I'm going to show you some of my treasures. The first one is the bamboo chairs. Now I went online and I found out that they range in price between $80 a chair and I even found a pair on um, online for $500. So anywhere between $80 and $250. These are in very good condition. I got them for $30 for the pair. I'm gonna turn on the camera so you can see them um, better than when I, you saw them in the field. Looks like I'm gonna fold it up. And again, I got two of them, so I only need to show you one. Look how gorgeous that chair is. It's in amazing condition. I mean, there's these, this one's like twirling a little bit, but it's a little uh, scuffed a little bit here and there, but for the most part, it's a very, very, very good condition. These are not falling apart, and it's extremely comfortable, believe it or not. It has side like molds to your back. I'm thinking maybe in the future this would be one of, one of these would be my best chair. And then we got the other one back in the corner, but amazing deal on that. So that was my favorite find of the day. Next up is China that I found. These men were trying to get rid of all this china that they had, and they gave me 11 pieces, including a ceramic cat, for five bucks. So I will be putting these on eBay. I will put the link below if you're interested in any of them, but there's Wedgwood, there's stuff from China. I went with all blue and white. So for some reason I don't sell it, it's not bad because I happen to like the blue and white china, but I'll turn it around and I'll show you what I got. I have, I think I have four of these, but these are three right here. This is from the Enchanted Garden. Johnson Brothers made in England and they're really really pretty. They're worth about $18 a plate and again I paid about 50 cents a piece for everything. This one is a German company called Klingendorf. I can't even say it. Or Brissett. I don't have my glasses on. But that is what, um, I only have one piece of that. 
then I have one of these, which is from a company called H.C. Anderson's uh, Royal Copenhagen. This is also a Royal Copenhagen. A lot Vallo Castle. I'm guessing it might have been a, uh, a visit to a, a castle in 1987. So um, I'm probably going to start all the bidding at $4 for all my pieces. So I was following another girl in, um, on here on YouTube and she seems to do that. This is, I have four of these little cute little cups. They're made in Japan. Ch uh, China that's made in Japan is usually worth something. I haven't been able to find these online yet. So I need to do some more research on these. All these other ones I was able to find online. These are adorable. They're saucer cups, they're Wedgwood. I only have the saucers, I didn't see the cups. I also didn't want to deal with cups to send, but I did not see the cups. But these are saucer plates, and a lot of people sometimes need replacements. So I got these, then I found this. This is very pretty. This one is the Blue Onion from Japan. That's really pretty too. This one is also worth about $14. I got this cat. I have not been able to find the cat online, but even if it doesn't sell, that's fine. It's adorable and I like it and it's cool and it's made in Japan. Then this, my friend found. This was an amazing buy. So apparently there's a company called Limoges that makes these trinket box boxes. So she saw it to me, she goes, Wendy, it's Limoges. I'm like, okay. And I love pineapples. So I said to the man, how much? He said a dollar. I'm like, okay, so I bought it. Well, when I got in the car on the way back, I looked this up. I am not selling this one. This is for $125 in immaculate condition, and I paid a dollar. I'm not getting rid of this because I really like it. Then I bought some Stephen King books. They were, uh, the whole, all of the books were, including this one, were two bucks. So um, I've been reading more lately, so I'm gonna go back to Stephen King after I finish another romance novel. So that was a good deal. Another one of my favorite finds today was this sign. The man wanted originally $30, I got him down to 15, and I looked up the name of this motel. It is, a, it still exists, but its name has changed. It was uh, one of the only Polynesian um, hotels in this area back in the 50s and 60s. So I'm very excited about the sign. I will be framing this and putting it into my tiki room when I eventually do that, probably in a year time I'm making a tiki room. So I went to a table and I love social sticks and I haven't even gone through. I have no idea what is in here. There could be gems, there could be nothing. I'm, I have no idea. I'm going to be keeping most of these for myself. Um, a girlfriend of mine also collects social sticks, so I'll probably be split, splitting the bag between the two of us. So I'll be this entire jar along with this bag for only three dollars so again i need to go through and find what's in here it looks like a monopoly guy and then decide which ones i'm keeping and which ones i'm giving to my friend and then um if i don't oh this one's cool this is from hawaii and i've been to hawaii um so whatever i don't like or don't give to her I'll, maybe i'll put up but um i really do like swizzle snakes I just think the history behind it is just so cool. And a lot of these are, are definitely vintage, and I will definitely, oh, look at that one, it's a giraffe. So I'll be looking through these and figuring out what's there. I forgot I bought these. They were just in the bag. So all of these for $3. Okay, the last thing that I got, I saw on a $2 table. And I looked at it and I'm like, gosh, this is really cool. And then I looked at it and it's, it says mid-century modern shaker, and it comes with the top. So I got this for $2. I haven't even really taken a good look at the recipes on it, but it's got like all the cocktails from the 50s and 60s on it. This was an amazing find. And this will go into my tiki room when it gets put together probably in a year. So that is my finds for today. And that my friends is a wrap. It was a really fun day. I recommend going to Webster Flea Market. They're only open on Mondays. So it's about an hour north of Tampa, and it's an easy ride right up to 75. Well, thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next adventure. Bye.